Hey guys, it's Sam, and in this critique, I'm going to be going over Lanarkin. I am sorry if I mispronounced your name. Um, they submitted this piece, and they said it was just for fun while thinking of the Peeps candy, and they're new to this style, and they're just trying stuff out, and yeah, so let's talk about it. First of all, props for experimenting and playing around with style. I know it can be scary or difficult sometimes, but it's definitely a great way to improve and learn new things, so I hope you found this project worthwhile. And you built up a really nice scene. It has an interesting story to it. It builds up a lot of question about this world. It seems like a neat place uh, that I'd want to know more about. The purple against the yellow makes for some nice color contrast and helps the peeps stand out. And I also really like the detail of the cliff. The colors, variation in color and value work really well. So making it black and white, we can see things from a different perspective. Regardless of what style you're trying, seeing things in black and white can give you a lot of information that you wouldn't have otherwise seen. And even before turning it black and white, my eyes were um, pretty quickly drawn to this uh, dark area at the bottom. It stands out rather significantly, and it actually took me a little bit to figure out that it was the shadow of the peep. This was due to the fact that my eyes went to the peep first, which is fine, but the light source on the peep told me that the light was coming from around over here. So my brain would expect this shadow to be behind it. Actually, you can't really see that very well. <laughs> to be behind it. So in black and white, you can just see that all the more strongly that this shadow just really stands out. And having a looming shadow is a fun idea, but if you want to have it, you need to think about your light source. Where is the light coming from? So to have this kind of shadow, you're going to want the light coming from behind the peep. So over here, I guess, since it's in that direction. <laughs> I'm really bad at drawing arrows in perspective, I'm sorry. But basically, it, it has to be a backlit. The light would be coming from behind it. Increasing the value range could also help with keeping things uh, less flat and similar. Using a wider range of values gives you more control over what you want the viewer to pay attention to, what's important, and it helps keep the eye on the artwork, just makes it a lot easier for our eyes to go from one thing to another. Most of what you have right now is pretty mid-range, um, aside from this dark shadow down here. So don't be afraid to bring in more lights and darks into the piece. So here's just a quick little level adjustment that I did. I just brought out the lights a bit more significantly. I didn't play with the darks at all. And here's just a quick paint over I did. Um, this first one is just bringing in some more darks. Obviously you could push it further. I just want to give you some ideas of what you can do. I went with the light source that's based off of the peep. So it's kind of coming from the front right before and after. And then the next thing I did was just paint over the shadow and have a couple highlights. Obviously it's just really messy just trying to do some stuff real quick to get the point across. <laughs> so what I noticed is after I got rid of this shadow, you kind of have this nice lead in from the cliff to the peep. Just another idea to toy with. Having something that leads the eye to something that you consider to be the important part of the piece um, is kind of how composition works, so you can play around with something like that. And then the last thing I did was just darken up the background a bit behind the peep. The purple-yellow was great for color contrast, but when I turned it black and white it was just more noticeable that the peep and the background were still kind of close. So I think it would be okay to just make the background a bit darker because the background's not the focus. The focus is the peep in the castle. So it just helps add another boost for the peep to stand out. And I'll put a link in the description for a mini tutorial on composition and value checking that you're welcome to check out. It might uh, help give you some more ideas and information. But this is a really cute piece. I love the idea. I think you can do a lot with it. And just keep experimenting, that's awesome. I hope you keep playing around and trying new things and um, hopefully you keep having fun with it too. I'll also put links in the description for the social media pages if you wanna learn more about Lana. And hopefully you found this critique helpful. If you wanna see any more critiques, I have a link in the description to a playlist with a whole bunch. So thanks so much for watching, bye.